I remember um, leaving my body as I was look, going toward this light that was before me. It looked like a window. I remember when I came in through that window, oh man, everything was right. There was nothing wrong. It was peace. And when I came through, I remember coming out into this clearing, but it was a wide open space. And I saw Jesus. He was more to the left of me. And he was looking at a bunch of some angels and some what I call redeemed people that had been on the planet and left the planet and went to heaven. And everything inside of me, everything about me at that moment knew that the only reason I was in heaven is because of what Jesus Jesus Christ had done. Everything was so grateful in my being that he had done that for me. So I'm thanking him. And as I'm thanking him, he looks at me and he says, no, it's not your time. Go back. But like that, that's how he says it. And I remember I didn't go through the forest after that to go back to where I came into heaven. I went over the forest. It's like, it's like I, I flew over it. There is not really flying. You can literally say, I want to be 10 feet above the uh, surface there. The best way I could describe it to you that read your Bible is like when Jesus walked on water. And there's no fear, so you can go as high as you want. But I remember going over the trees and going back to that place. And when I got to the place that I was going to leave out of, and it wasn't like there's a door there that opened up the door and you go out. It was just like I knew the next step I took, I would be out of that realm. And I remember standing there for a while, and I sensed my body wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. I was so joyful that it wasn't ready. So, so I remember turning around saying, yes, and the forest was before me and I knew Jesus was on the other side of the forest, but I felt like I could literally go to the left of the forest. I knew I had to get back to Jesus. So I came back to Jesus this time around the, uh, this side of him. And for whatever reason, I went behind him and then came back to that same position I did the first time. And I remember the light that was coming off of him. I didn't say this the first time, but there was this great light that was coming off of him. And it was wrapping itself around me. After that engagement, he looks at me again. He looks down at me again with these beautiful, loving eyes. He says to me again, no, it's not your time. Go back. I go over the trees again. I get to that edge part of where I came in at and it looked like I take one more step and I'm out. I get ready to get out and all of a sudden again, I know my body is not ready. And I'm thinking, yes, I am staying. So the next thing I do is this time, instead of going to the left of me, I go to the right of that forest and I experience so many great things. It seemed like that side was more of the liquids, like the water, the seas, the rivers. I don't know why they were over on that side, but they were on this. They were more blue, but that blue, like we would say blue, because the colors are there are more vibrant than you can imagine. I travel through, I see things, I experience some things. I've seen a lot of different animals on that side. And then I get right back to Jesus. Here again, I go back to the same spot I went to before with Jesus. And I'm looking at his feet, then I look up, and on the other side again, I see my family. Sometimes people say, what did they look like? It's hard to describe people in heaven because there's no time. I tell people they were shiny, they had a big smile and pure joy. After everything, all that, all of a sudden, Jesus looks at me again, and he says with a command, strong command. No, it's not your time. Go back. So I went over those trees again, got to what I call the edge of heaven, took a step, and I was out and headed back to this realm. And I was sad. I felt like a baby crying really hard. I remember coming into the hospital room, hovering over my, my bed where the body was. They had really stopped working on me and started putting things away. The doctor even said he was signing the certificate at that time. And I remember, <laughs> I don't know why I did this. I, I looked at my body, it was down there. I looked at it. I came in and hovered over it. And then I turned over and went into my body like that. And the doctor's house, the, 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 the you know, heart monitor go beep, 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 beep. Started deepening. They started coming back over there. They intubated me, put the tube down my throat. So you know what that's all about. They get me breathing again and, and all that type of stuff. You know, I didn't really want to come back, but I felt like he was saying, I need you there more than I need you here.